at. Now, um, there's been a joint statement uh, by uh, the EU, the UK, um, Canada, the US, and all of that. But we'll get to how the international uh, uh, community is reacting to all of this. But first, let's talk about this suspension of Twitter operations. Stop. Yeah. The, the let's thing, start with you, Mrs. Gamma. The thing is that I am ambivalent about the suspension. Really? On the one hand, I see absolutely nothing in what the president said. There is lawlessness. Nothing offensive. You, no, nothing offensive. Okay. Yeah, not absolute, but there is absolutely nothing wrong. That's mm -hmm. okay. Okay. You know, yeah, narrowing it down. Nothing offensive in, uh, or threatening in what the president said. Mm -hmm. The country is in dire straits. There, we have trouble across the country. And IPOB stroke, ESN stroke, unknown gunmen are uh, fermenting trouble in the southeast. And quite naturally, the president has to be worried about it. And all he's saying is that we will deal with this matter appropriately if they do not stop. So to me, it's all fine. But if by the standards of, the, of Twitter, it offended their sensibility or falls below uh, uh, acceptable um, uh, posts, in Twitter. That's fine if this is their rule and they are not being partial about it, then it's fine. To me, the president did nothing wrong. But if by, if by Twitter standards they consider it offensive or, or insightful, then let them remove it. That Nigerian government chose to suspend Twitter, uh, uh, ban Twitter. Suspend. Suspend mm -hmm. is the choice of the Nigerian government. Many countries in the world over the years or months have suspended Twitter. China did, North Korea did, Iran did, and many, many other countries of the world. Okay? It's the Nigerian thing. The law is the law. Democracy, democracy, freedom, freedom. There can be no freedom without the law. It is the law that limits your freedom. It is also the law that guarantees your freedom. When there is no law to limit your freedom, mm -hmm. there will be no law to guarantee your freedom. The paradox of freedom. So let's not get carried away with this talk about freedom. There's nothing like absolute freedom anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. the, in America, the, the supposed the bastion of democracy, the, 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 the apogee of freedom. There's no absolute freedom in the U.S. You can't have sex in the street. The police will arrest you for it's even for, for, for language. Okay, it's for, daytime TV. Uh, uh, okay, Thank daytime you. TV. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. the police will arrest you for indecent exposure. Mm -hmm. Is that when you so so let's forget this thing about freedom and obey the law of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Democracy, democracy. Is there any textbook uh, uh, democracy uh, being practiced anywhere in the world? Britain is a democracy, but it's also a monarchy. But monarchy is antithetical to democracy. How do you well, how can you combine and you strike the, a balance? No, and that is why they, they have to adopt they have to adapt democracy to their special circumstances and needs. Mm. Nigeria will adapt its own democracy to our special needs and circumstances and political environment. Mm. So if anybody breaks the law, let the person be arrested, prosecuted, and jailed. All these guys running around as a question. Fanny Fami Kayode, Sani, the former senator from Kaduna mm -hmm. State. Uh, uh, we've, we've treated, come on now. Yeah. They are grandstanding. They are making moves and statements to elicit applause and popularity. Eze Kwesle was Minister for Education. And what came out of it? The all that has trailed Fani Fayo, Fani Kayo, there is, is, is allegations of misappropriation of funds, stealing of funds, drug addiction. So they, they are not even exemplary Nigerians. Sami Bello was senator. He earned the highest, one of the highest legislative salaries in the world in a country with the highest concentration of poverty in the world. Did he reject the salary? Did he say, oh no, this is too much? So I don't, I don't take those people seriously. They are looking for cheap popularity. The law is the law and should be enforced. Nigerian democracy must be adapted to Nigerian circumstances, environment, and needs. And that's why that's we... Thank you, Mrs. We, we, we we are we, and that's why we are where we are today. To start from the submission of... Uh, Mr. Zukama, mm. we have adapted our democracy to suit us. And that is why we are progressive, we are progressing in error. First and foremost, Mr. Zukama, before you uh, digress to call names, um, let's face 
the issue here. Yeah. Um, when we begin to, uh, because China, China ban Twitter, North Korea ban Twitter. Let us also begin to copy the example of China execute corrupt politicians and corrupt people. Let us begin. Where they are beheaded. Let us also be, let us also right? be, let, let us also begin the take the example that China lived over eight million people out of poverty. Let us also begin to take example from China that they have developed their country that today the the word poverty is almost gone in China. Let us begin to do that. But before we digress, I don't want to follow Mrs. Zukama to digress. Let us face the fact. The fact is that first, I have been banned by Twitter. Somebody reported my post. They banned me for before now. Before now. Mm. For two months. I couldn't post. I couldn't send I couldn't follow anybody. Nobody could follow me. I didn't I didn't shout. I didn't make a noise. The United States of America, former President Trump, has been banned as we speak today. He does not have access to Facebook for the Twitter, next two years. For the next two years. Mm. The US is not breaking down. Alright? Look, when we talk about and um, it depends on whoever you can everybody is entitled, they said fact is sacred, opinion is free. You can decide to believe that what Mr. President said is wrong. Mr. President knew this country has not successfully, has not, I want to say it, I am going to 46 years old. By November 6th, I will be 46 years old. This country has not successfully pacified the Southeast for that war. And it is also understood that the first gunshot was from Nigerian troops when they shoot first. Now, if you want in the to civil war. In the civil war, if you want to remind an ethnic group when you have a tension in the country, please don't remind them of the soul, of the anguish. Mr. Zukama was born before the war. I was born after the war. Don't remind them of what they passed through and what they are still passing through. The, this government and previous government has not cons graciously called the Southeast the agitators. To, they have not set up a table for them to come and dine first and say, okay, what is your problem? It is in this same country that the president also reported in the media that he said he, he appealed to bandits to lay down their arms, shouldn't keep people. He appealed to bandit. Now, let us go back to why why the Twitter problem and why the government is calling for um, um, NBC or NCC to begin to register OTT. First and foremost, you can't give what you don't have. First, before the China that we are copying decided to censor the Western social media platforms. They develop their own, they get traction, they have a buy-in by their people, and their people bought into it and see the need to stay there, not to, uh, not to use the, the Western uh, 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 world uh, social platform. So if you don't have yours, if, for instance, Mr. President has all the channels in the world to reach out to Twitter, Twitter is a corporate organization, he has a headquarters, he has people, he has faces. You can, you, can tell, you can tell the Twitter that what you have done to me, okay, you can sue the Twitter, your, your legal department can sue the Twitter, they can take them to International Court of Justice, whatever it is. You can't, you have a lot of businesses running on Twitter. Radio stations aggregate their audiences from Twitter today. What you have done to businesses by doing that alone because of you, as a person, as a president, is wrong. There is no need for you to say you are banning the entire sector. And what did you do? You have licensed telecommunication company. Do you know how much a telecom make by people surfing the Twitter? Do you know? Do you know that by write, writing a letter to them to deactivate the same system that they are making and pay you taxes, your taxes that you are also in the way shooting yourself in the foot. These are the issues that should be discussed like a country. It is. I have. I believe that Mr. President. So you think the Mr. decision Mr. emotionally was horrid? He, he backed emotionally. Okay. People in his government caused him to take that decision, and I think 
up to today, like um, this guy, um, Jaffred Omodua said yesterday, that he was embarrassed by that decision. He was embarrassed by those who defended him. He was embarrassed by the country. And he's also embarrassed. I am also towing in that direction. Whatever decision that it is, you can, as a one person, sit and, and deactivate over how many people, how many million of Nigerians on Twitter? 13 million. 13 million of people. <laughs> On, on Twitter and deactivated them and today what did they do people are by people are using Twitter today by bypassing it going to um, download uh, VPN mm. and they are paying dollars that some of them that could have used Just it to, to get access. access to Twitter mm. some of them could have used it to maybe uh, make some purchases in this country and better the economy of this country that is growing so when we look at all of these things we are asking ourselves whether Mr. President says something or not say something for me I feel at that point it would have been even be very presidential if Mr. President has kept quiet and I'll allow his aides to interface with the Twitter.